the statue of Andrew Jackson, popular hero and president of 135 years ago, faces the front of the White House where President Ufue Bwanyi spends many hours in private conversation with President Kennedy. They discuss projects of economic cooperation between the two countries, especially in agriculture, fisheries, and regional development. They discuss international problems, particularly the current situation in Africa below the Sahara. President Kennedy says, from our talks, I have gained more knowledge and understanding of the problems facing your country and a deeper comprehension of the compelling forces that are shaping the new relationships among African states. The patients at a children's hospital are delighted by the visit of Madame Ufue Boigny. She sees the treatment being given to restore muscle control to a little polio victim. The gracious First Lady of the Ivory Coast knows the way to a child's heart. Across the street from the hospital, an entire school comes out to cheer Madame Ufue Boigny. The next day, she sends each child a flower. At the Congress of the United States, there is an afternoon tea in honor of the President of the Ivory Coast. Legislative leaders are eager to have the benefit of his experience in international affairs. A reception at the Ivory Coast Embassy for the Chiefs of Diplomatic Missions at Washington is attended by many distinguished guests. After greeting the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, the Ambassador of Nicaragua, President Ufue Boigny mingles among the guests. The President and Mrs. Ufue Boigny meet the Ambassador of Guinea, Sedou Kante, and his wife. Frederic Guerme, Ambassador of Upper Volta. And Madame Guerme. the Ghanaian ambassador in Kew Hall, Madame Ufue Boigny impresses everyone with her beauty and elegance. On May 24th, United States astronaut Scott Carpenter orbits the Earth three times. On that day, President Ufue Boigny comes to address a luncheon of the National Press Club. As the President begins to speak, the news comes that Scott Carpenter has made a safe landing. His recovery is awaited momentarily. Nos pensées vont en effet affectueuses vers Carpenter. Our thoughts go with affection to Carpenter, second American astronaut. We would like to be able to share with you, within the next few moments, the assurance of this victory, which is not only the victory of a man, not only the victory of American science and technology, which do credit to this great country, but above all, the victory of peace. Non pas seulement la victoire de la science et de la technique américaine, 
qui font honneur à ce grand pays, mais surtout la victoire de la paix. The audience, which includes United States Under Secretary of State for African Affairs, Menon Williams, and Conan Bédier, Ambassador of the Ivory Coast, hears the President discuss his foreign policy. Paix en Afrique, coopération avec tous les États africains. Peace in Africa, cooperation with all African states. That is the basis of our policy. But Africa is not alone in the world, and we are not for a policy of isolationism. The interdependence of peoples having become the golden rule, we have sought since our accession to independence to establish full cooperation with the countries which share with us the same ideals of freedom and justice and have faith as we do in democracy. A summer shower hits the city on the evening that President and Madame Oufoué Boigny give a state dinner at the Mayflower Hotel. Tonight, the First Lady of the United States and President Kennedy are the guests of President and Madame Oufoué Boigny on the last evening of their three-day visit to Washington. 